Howdy folks, my name is Lanso90 and welcome to Let's Play Far Sky. So we're just continuing with our survival game series this week where we're playing one-offs of a bunch of different survival games that I've enjoyed in the past or ones that just never played at all that I have in my Steam library. And Far Sky is one of them. Actually, it's not. I had to buy it because first time I played it, I pirated it. It was a very long time ago. This game was released in 2014. I think I even played it in early access before that. Um, this is the oldest game in our list here. This is before Subnautica. Subnautica would have copied off of this game, if anything. <laughs> uh, it's before the water update to Minecraft. So this game did underwater survival before Minecraft as well. It was before... No, it was actually more inspired by like Bioshock than anything else. And we're going to kind of see that as we get in here. But uh, it is a survival game. Let's get started. See how well I can remember how to play this one, because this one. If you thought I couldn't remember how to play Osiris Nudon, <laughs> this one's totally different. Mayday, mayday, mayday. My submarine is breaking into pieces. You always crash. You always got to crash in these games, though. More things change, the more they stay the same. I don't think there was actually like a story mode when I played. Like he had quest objectives and stuff, but I don't think there's actual story. I don't think anyone like talked to you or anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our DPI is too high. It's from an era when screen resolutions were not as high. Don't survive long without oxygen. Is our boat nearby? All right. So maybe, whoop, maybe we should head this way. There we go. Pre-built shuttle building over here. Man, I don't remember how <laughs> how to play this one at all. Oh. Hope we can Superman fly. There we go. I'm in the base. Got basically some flies left. You're going to be okay. Cooker. I've been better. Bunch of stuff. There's our uh, Bioshock drill. You should be able to find the pieces of the submarine to fix it back. We'll listen to boat to rescue you once you reach the surface. Stay safe. I mean, I kind of feel like we'd be able to swim up to the surface, but that's okay. That's okay. So we got iron, coal, and fish. I don't know where our hunger bar is even at. 0% hunger. Okay, I guess that has to go up to 100% for it to be negative. Is there something growing up here? Potatoes? Can I replant the potatoes? I can. Okay. So I remember the extractor. We haul this outside. And we'll find a resource for it. Maybe this marked spot. Maybe this is just our, one of our ship parts, though. This appears to maybe just be a ship part. Keep looking at these rocks, but you can't pick them up. Um. Oh, there's a piece of the submarine. A little bit, uh. A little bit Pikmin like. Okay, I think this stuff over here is mineable ore, and this is what we put the extractor on. Excuse me, is this gold? I don't think there used to be gold in this game. I think this is metal. Do you need power or anything? I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, and remember it's older, so it may not. It may not. So this game is definitely like a mix between Subnautica and Bioshock, I would say. Pretty much the main, main two influences. I don't remember what we need iron for. <laughs> Be honest with you, I'm just grabbing it to grab it. More extractors, I assume. There doesn't seem to be like any kind of crafting station in here. No, there is. Main workshop. A new workshop, or did I make that automatically? Maybe not. Weapon workshop, furniture workshop, building workshop. 
Okay. There's that. Um, equipment workshop. Ah, so we gotta like switch our entire suit out for our iron stuff. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Your water scooter. I don't remember that. And actually used a lot of iron. All right, back into the ocean with us. That's what the extractor was for. A little bit of Factorio almost. I didn't think Factorio was out by the time this was out. I'm not saying, not accusing them of copying, but you know. It's the only other thing in the same, similar vein as this. At the time. Let's get a bunch more of this iron here. And the way it's like Subnautica is we just kind of go further down to get the further pieces of our ship. And we have to advance through the different, like, minerals on each layer down. I already have a drill, so unless there's durability, we don't need to worry about that. Oh, we need to find whatever this other stuff is. Weapon workshop. Now, oh, the difference between this game and Subnautica, though, you can attack things. Ooh, baby, can you attack things? Yeah, we go from iron to copper. Well, oh, that's copper, okay. Copper stunning spears, spear gun, fire spears. Probably don't need this in our hot bar. Hunger has seen better days. So yeah, a little bit of regular Minecraft. We're at 8%. Looks like it just uses one coal per meal. Offense. Okay. I like to find copper. There's some other markers on our map, so let's go take a look at some of this. This just appears to maybe be sand up here. Oh, we have like big jumps. We can do uh, moon diving. Uh, dirt. Probably should make more farm plots so we can try to survive on just. some veggies if we need to. I don't know if we can drill fish and pick them up. I might have to get the uh, gold. Uh, gold is that other resource. But yes, we do need more gold then. Music to one a little hard. It is nice music. Let's bring it down to like 30% here. It looks like this marker doesn't disappear once we mine some gold, because there's no longer any gold here. Some resources, I suppose, but some iron. Let's grab more of this dang gold. Although maybe there's more inside the rock and I can't get to it. Probably, because... Let's take another look, then. Because that one disappeared. This one only had one piece of gold that we could actually see. I think it's too well buried. That's okay, though. We're at a minute and 30 seconds of oxygen. That should be plenty. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, take me home. A little pirate chest. Actually, the pirate chest will do seem a little familiar. I think this is just like score, though. I don't think it does anything. I do not believe it does anything. Oh, super jump. Okay. What are our plants doing? How do we get another planter 
Don't know. Maybe probably this furniture workshop then, I would guess. Yes, plant pot, iron, dirt, something green, chests. Cooker's still a table. Get some more iron for those bad boys. Man, our hunger goes up pretty quick, actually. Gonna have to figure out how to how to get fish. Okay, so cooked potato though does a pretty good number on our our hunger. I'm sure I can just leave those in there too. Grab this iron. There we go. I don't know if we can just use the spear in melee or if it's only ammo for the spear gun or if I need to make the knife. Oh, we can make the spear gun now though. Are you loaded or? shoot does not seem to be loaded let's see here controls interaction is E ah wait equip okay there we go sorry little fish whoa all right the spear is consumed though so I'm pretty sure that the spear gun is for the shark. So we want to be... We want to exercise restraint, restraint with that. Now I am thinking that we're going to want more... We already went through you. Yeah, yeah. Don't know about more growers. It wouldn't hurt. But I need to get this knife now. Hop. I can't remember if the ground ever runs out of iron. I think it does. I do believe that it does. Again, since we're only taking a quick look at these games, we probably won't end up in a situation where... There we go. Now we got the knife. Should be able to get fish for free. Of course, now they're all gone. Manta rays. It's like Subnautica. Do we get that green stuff out of this? Yep, we do. It's Minecraft, dude. That's funny. I'm pretty sure this game did seaweed first. Yo, big old tunas. Did I won? Did I get it? I don't think so. <laughs> Seems like the tunas have a lot of health. So let's try to go get another vehicle part. Just the way that that seaweed drops is a lot like Minecraft, but Minecraft definitely... I don't think I had the seaweed before this game yet. I could be wrong. that fish though. Uh, see how this stuff is down there. I don't think we can go that far. Our max depth is 180 meters. Let's try it. YOLO. So you build like a base on each level down. It's getting dark. Night is coming. Better watch out. Predator predators hunt at night. Ooh. Careful, Nathan. The pressure is really high down there. I'll wait to be prepared. Yeah, I don't think we can go down there until we have the full iron set, which is fine. I don't rem 
remember how bad night is in this game. I have no memory of this place. For some reason, those long fish seem like they might be a problem. Uh oh. Thanks for telling me, good sir. Get back to your base. Your oxygen is full once inside. There you are. Alright, we do need to figure out where coal is. Oh, hammerhead. Okay. Grab our iron. Where can I find coal? I don't recall remembering. Some kind of pile over here. That might be coal. Okay, kind of jellyfish our way around here. Okay. Oh, I miss. Brad got a lot of experience fighting sharks. <laughs> Ooh, not this many fish, though. Wow. I don't remember that at all. I remember singular fish attacking. I don't remember... I don't know. Something about the long fish is a little familiar, but I don't remember them being that deadly. Honest and for truly. What's this? Removes and repairs. Bro. Oh, those are dolphins. <laughs> I don't really remember how I played this game. I don't remember if I, like, uh, just stayed in the base all night. Seems rather cowardly. But I could see me doing that. <laughs> There's our body. Not the way I would sort things. I mean, technically dying might be effective strategy in this part of the game because it's not like we're not going to get back to our body. Yeah, so it's like cold to me. And it restored, it's restored our hunger. <laughs> it's the big thing. Just gonna get a buttload of this stuff. I'm gonna die again, cause. Oh. Okay, you don't wanna get close. Yeah, get your timing right. Here. Yo, critical hit. <laughs> I only really have to walk backwards here. <laughs> Nearly there. Use seaweed. Now ah, here's it. Where to go? There they are. Okay, okay. We're figuring it out. All right, coal. It's funny not having to make ingots. It's just from an era where you didn't really have to make ingots. <laughs> so let those cook. 
think the fully grown potatoes had white on the tops, didn't they? I do believe so. So let's go to our iron miner. Should probably get multiple iron miners working at the same time. What the heck is that? Gotta go see what this is. Could be just a glitch. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> maybe I did get that tuna from a long time ago. Or maybe the shark is eating them. I don't know. I think that's why we got swarmed by those long fish. It's because of the blood. I think that's what makes the next area more deadly, is I think that area just has the, those fish hanging around, even not at nighttime. Okay. Spears. I do want more miners, though, more than anything. Armor would be nice, too. Why am I not seeing another auto miner? Am I crazy? Open workshop, furniture workshop, building workshop, maybe. There we go. New level, not necessary ladder, not necessary extractor. Oof. Lots of iron. Mine more iron without getting into trouble here. I think it might be daytime. Just do some manual, manual mining. Why not? If we can get to two auto miners, we should have a pretty decent supply of automatic iron. I think I might have built like four the first time, to be honest with you. I can't remember if I played this game on the channel or if it was before I was playing games on the channel. I played it all the way through. I did play it all the way through. Okay. I wouldn't mind playing it all the way through again. It's actually like a shorter game compared to the other ones we're playing, so... I certainly would not mind. It was a simpler time, not having to like fuel these things. <laughs> I definitely had like four going, I think. Could be a fun game to speed run because it's a lot more straightforward than a lot of other games. All right, gear. Give me this armored suit. It's going to help a lot. Pressure resistance. Water scooter. All right, little drills. We've all got to work on this. So yeah, just a very pleasant game. I definitely recommend this one. It's only five bucks. So if you're like, I would like to play an underwater survival game, but I don't really have the time for Subnautica. It took me 28 hours to beat Subnautica. I feel like I could probably beat this one. I could probably beat it in seven episodes. I think I could do it in one week, which would be... Uh, about three and a half hours. A much shorter game. Because, well, you've seen it in the tech tree there. We're working on the iron armor. Then there's copper armor, which is the next floor down, which we already took a look at. And then there's magnetite armor at the bottom. <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot. There's a survival mode now, though, which I don't think used to be there. wonder how fast the sea glide is in this game. I have to tell Tatters about this one, actually. It's another F the Ocean game, but at least in this one you can kill the fish. <laughs> at least in this one you can shoot the sharks and stuff, man. Actually stand a chance. Part of me is just like... Why don't we just go die? Why don't you go die? Why don't you go die? That's my, my Walter White's son impression. Ding, 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 ding. All right. 
16 of them bad boys. All right. Oh, you're in trouble now, game. Got a spear gun. I'm going north. Let's wrap things up by at least getting one more. Those are barracuda shark, right? That's what the long, the long shark is. I think so. I guess a barracuda. All right, game. Let's wrap this up. I get another part or two here. Yeah, now we can go down to 250 meters. Which now that we've recently played Subsumnautica, we have a decent idea of what 250 meters is. Actually pretty deep. Because the uh, Seamoth can only go 200 meters now. 309 pieces. Let's see how close we're done. It'll probably beat this in like three episodes. Dolphins. Don't get it twisted. They're just dolphins. A little treasure chest. If I wanted to be really crazy, do I feel like being really crazy? Yeah, I think it just gives you pre-built bases. Like, I don't have to go build another base. There's this... You have to repair it. You have to repair it. I remember now. I don't remember how. remember this I actually thought it was a part of Subnautica for at one point but it's actually part of this game there is base repairing in Subnautica whoa that's a lot of good stuff man dang speed run into this place <laughs> fix this place back grab got floors glass walls I think we have to look for like the missing panel anyway what I was saying is if I want to be really bold I could just play this game all the way through right now just make a long video perhaps that's where we're hearing the sound because this place is massive. Seems like there's water pouring in there, but maybe you can't build in here. Maybe you can't. So it's weird that it filled up. That makes me feel like I can fix it. And I may just be thinking of Subnautica. Because your base can get damaged and then it starts flooding in Subnautica. That's okay. Let's see. I was on my way. There's another piece down the hill. But there's another one that seems like it's up here. This one. Oops. Okay. I don't know if we have enough ammo to take a shark down yet. Oh, weird. It's like two different trenches. I don't remember that last time. I thought there was just like one 
one trench that just went deeper and deeper down. Okay. Let's get this one because this one's like really deep down. It'll give us a look at the deep, deep ocean here. Hopefully it's not too far now. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see the biome kind of changes here. So yeah, this game invented going deeper to get into different biomes before Subnautica. Here's the copper we've been looking for. More tuna. Oh wow, this one's actually on like the magnesium floor, huh? I can't get down there. Actually can't go that low. Uh oh. <laughs> I may be in a spot of trouble here. There you go, there you go. Careful not to choke on your ambition. Honestly, it didn't seem like that one would be that far down. Okay, well, I think you've gotten a decent little look here at... I don't even remember what I said this game was called. <laughs> Dark Sky? Deep Sea? Hold on. Alright, so I made a small mistake. <laughs> uh, the game's name is Far Sky. And, uh, yeah, I was trying to get to the next spot, and I actually did, like, an epic fight and stuff. <laughs> and you guys missed it because I forgot to unpause after I paused there to look up the game name. Uh, I will go get my stuff, and then so I can show you guys what this all looks like. Well, remember to actually unpause this time. All right, so I did die again, so we're going to find out if your body, if your first body stays, if you die a second time. This game might actually be Dark Souls, though. I kind of don't see our cross down here. And it is by these crystals that I died the first time, so. But yeah, I couldn't make it to the I couldn't make it to the next base without uh getting attacked by sharks and dying, so. Who would have thought? Yeah, I died. I died over here, so I'm not really sure where it does appear that your body disappears when you uh die. So I'm sorry you guys missed the epic combat is for this thing here. Uh, that might be that might be something over there. Let's go try. <laughs> Can't tell if that's our cross or not. No, it's like a shipwreck, huh? There's a chest here. With a bunch of goodies in it. Yeah, this just appears to be some kind of shipwreck. But yeah, a uh, very cool game. Bet the anglerfish will actually attack us, huh? Uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more. Actually thinking about playing this one all the way through, I might just start a new game though, because I think I messed this up by uh, <laughs> losing all my stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking of attempting to kind of speed run this, kind of like we're doing with Subnautica right now. This jellyfish is after me. Jellyfish, that's not how jellyfish work. Okay, you gotta you gotta back off me, man. Jellyfish, you're just supposed to ride on the ocean current and bump into whatever you happen to bump into. You're not supposed to chase down prey. That's not how jellyfish work. 